The power transfer unit on this aircraft is like any other PTU on any commercial aircraft. In fact, on any hydraulic application, it doesn't even have to be aviation related. A PTU is a bi-directional power transfer unit that enables, in our case, the yellow system to pressurize the green system or vice versa. So if the pressure, remember the pressure, normal operating pressure for the systems, all three of them, was 3000 PSI individually. If the pressure in the green or the yellow system on either side of the PTU differs by more than 500 PSI, then the PTU will automatically use the higher pressure system to try to pressurize and bring that pressure for the lower system up. This is a little bit complicated maybe to wrap your head around, but a PTU is by default two constant pressure pumps slash motors. When we did ATPL theory and we talked about in ADK about systems, we talked about pumps specifically. We talked about constant pressure pumps and we talked about constant volume pumps such as spur gear pumps. The constant pressure pump, the axial pump was referred to in your ATPL theory, has the ability to vary the amount of fluid through it to maintain a constant pressure out. Inside the PTU, you will find that you have two of these connected by a common shaft. Fluid on one side can drive, in this case, if it's fluid in to be the driving force, that becomes a motor, a hydraulically driven motor that connects and drives the other side to become a pump. So by having two constant pressure pumps motors, one side can feed as a motor to drive the other as a pump or vice versa. When we have this setup, we can lose pressure in one side. I'll give you an example. Let's say we lost engine number one. If we lose engine number one, which was the only pressure source for the green system, the green system pressure will start to fall. But as the green system pressure falls, when it is 500 PSI less than the yellow system, which was driven by engine number two, and or an electrically driven pump if necessary, then the PTU will use the pressure in the yellow system, which is normal, to operate the PTU on this side as a motor that will operate the PTU side for the, on the green side as a pump bringing that pressure back up. It is now the PTU here that provides the pressure to the green system, no longer the engine driven pump on the green system. One important highlight here is that the PTU does work on a certain sequence. It is inhibited during first engine start. I'll bring this up again when I put the entire system together. 